going into my first practice of my sophomore season, I was coming for him. I'm coming to separate myself from everybody. But as you can see, I catch an interception. And I mean, I am gone. And this kid right here has some wheels on him. I took it all the way for as six. As you can see, just look at the elusive speed that he has. I mean, he was gone. But I mean, after last year, after falling short of that championship, we got to go get it this year. As you can see, after having a great practice coach, you are in no danger of losing your starting position. Going into my first game of my sophomore season, this has to be a statement game to let the world know that I as am As you can here. see on second and 15, this running back tries to run through me, but he's not going anywhere. As you can see, we are running that score up early on, and I mean, we're up 34-0, but they run a screen. I read off the back of my hand and drill this running back. As you can see, it's second and 15. We need to get off that field, and I just missed the quarterback, and I got overly excited. Going into the next play on third and 20, they had no chance, and they ran a screen play, and I drilled this dude. I laid the boom on As him. you can see, I made sure to get up and look him down, but we go on to win the as game. As you can see, I end the game off with six total tackles. Going into the next game against New Mexico. I started off slow. And as you can see, that quarterback was getting that ball out fast. And I couldn't get no but pass rush two, I didn't let back. I came in hot and laid the boom on the quarterback. But he still got the ball as away. As you can see, we're up 28-0 early on. And on kickoff, I'm a special teams All-American. I go down and lay the boom on him. It made him fumble. We are not playing. But as you can see, going into that next play on third and 20, Coach they get off of that field. So I came in hot, sacked that quarterback for a set. And I made sure to stare him down. But as you can see, not just one, not just one. I go in with another sack to get off that field. And I end the game off for three total tackles. But as you can see, I'm starting to earn Coach's trust as he gave me the number six. He couldn't give me 56, but he gave me one. And I said, one. Coach, I'm going to take it. We're going into the next game. we strike early. And coming down on second and ten, this quarterback tried to step up in that pocket and run, but he's not going anywhere. Ooh. Lawrence Taylor Jr. is there. He is here. as you can see, ECU drives down the field and kicks three to tie the We're game We're going into up. the next play on second and six. They have an inside zone and I dive and hit that running back before he gets started. And as you can see, I got up and pointed to the sky because all praises to the most high. We're going into the next play on second and three. They have a read option. The quarterback tries to sneak behind those old linemen, but I get it. And on this next down, the running back tried to run the ball on first and ten. You're not going anywhere. On third down, I laid the boom. And we go on to win, but I end the game off with six total tackles. Going into our next game against Notre Dame, I got to come out here intense, and I didn't start off well. I was missing tackles and missing angles early and on. And I just can't be doing this if I want to go for that Heisman and that championship. But as you can see, on first down, they had a read option, and I drilled a quarterback, but he pitches but the as ball. As you can see, it's third and one. We need to get off that field, and I mean, I'm running at the right angle with this quarterback, but I just miss the angle of him, but he's still shorter as you can see, this down. offensive lineman is heming me up on first down. So the running back runs right through the whole bricks one tackle, and I come back and tackle. As you see, going into the next play, I'm laid a big hit on this running back before he can get started. On third and eight, I got off of that field. I dove at that quarterback legs and brought him down. As you can see, going down on kickoff, I came down there with bad intentions and got off of that block and made a but tackle. On second down, I threw this quarterback to the ground. We're going to win, and I end the game off with eight total tackles. We're going into our next game against Virginia Tech. I started off in I lost this tackle, and I mean, I dove at this quarterback legs and made him do a as flip. You can see, that's a way to get your team off of that field early on in the oh, game. to the next play on third and four. As you can see, I mean, I came in and tackled the quarterback again for a sack on third down to get my team off of that As field. you can now see, we are up 17-3 to three and they have a delayed inside draw and I just stuffed this ball but up. As you can see, I mean, I am a handful load. I go in with another sack. And as you can see, Lawrence Taylor Jr. is having a ball out game. I mean, he goes in and hawks this quarterback down as he tries to escape. But as you can see, it's third and ten. And to put the icing on the cake, I catch my first career college interception. As you can see, I immediately got down and started praying. As you see, we go on to win the game, and I end the game off of five total tackles. On to our next game against Virginia, I started off in a cover three zone, and he threw that ball, and I reacted so fast, and I drilled him for a three-yard game. As you can see, going into that next play on second down, I have broken the school sack record with 34 total sacks. And I'm going to keep balling every week. Going into the next play on second and seven, I brush this tackle, and the quarterback just falls right in my pocket, and I go in with another sack. And as you can see, me and the boys are fired up. We're going into the next play on second and seven. I hit him with a juke juke. We weave. Get to that quarterback with bad intentions with another. I mean, as sack. you can see, these NFL scouts better get on Lawrence Taylor Jr. As you can see, I roll back out and get another tackle for loss for my team. As you can see, we're going to win the game, and I end the game off with eight total tackles. Going into our next game against Georgia Tech, I mean, I got blocked up and the running back bounced it out and went up and got the first down early and on. Georgia Tech was driving, but I said no. As you can see, going into the next play on second and six, they had a read option. The quarterback kept it, and I absolutely laid the boom on him for a tackle for loss. the very next play, I can win with a sack to get my team off of that field. I mean, I'm just absolutely balling their coach out said They're going for it on fourth down, so I said I'm going to go get that quarterback with a sack. And I mean, I was laying the boom, getting turnovers all night, and I was just being the star player of the as game. As you can see, I take the quarterback for a little ride for another tackle for as loss. As you see, going into the next play on second and ten, I absolutely obliterated this quarterback, and I don't think he got back as up. As you can see, he got back up, so I said I'm going to get him again for 
another second. I'm breaking. We're going into the next down on second and seven. The running back ran that ball, and I stopped him early on before he got in started. We're going to win the game, and I end the game off with nine total tackles. Going into our next game against NC State, as you can see, I backpedal into coverage, and then I pursued it to that ball and made the going tackle. Going into the next play, I got pancake. You know, losses come with wins. But I got back up on second down, and I shared that block, and I pursued it straight down the line to meet the quarterback at the as right you see, angle. on second and ten, I read this play before it even started. They had an inside zone, but I was already in the running back's face. As you can see, they're up three on us, but we score and go seven to three. I like the boom on this quarterback. Let's I got up and said, shh. The baby is asleep as I go in and lay another big hit on this running back. Let's go. We're going to knock off our rival NC State, and I end the game off with eight total tackles. Going into our next game against Pitt, I mean, they were chop blocking me early on, and you know when they chop block, they cannot block. As you can you. see, they strike first, and they drove down that field with ease on our defense, so we got to get it together. As you can see, going into the next play on first to 10, I absolutely come in with the burst of speed and lay the boom on the as quarterback. As you can see, the score is 13 to 10. We are up by three, and I come down on special teams, and I am giving them headaches all As you can see, it's night. fourth quarter with 28 seconds and you need it when it counted big time players make big time plays and big time moments I as you can see it's 14 seconds they know huddle it and my teammate get the next set and we end them the old fashioned way as you can way. see I the game off of 5 total tackles going into our next game against Miami this is the game that we need to win right here and I started off laying that boom on the running I back I celebrated and hooked it with my teammate but going into the next play as you can see I laid the boom again I mean, why don't you get to not run that ball Lawrence Taylor Jr's way as you can see going into the next play on first down I was late to the screen and the running back ran it all the way down to the one yard line. As you line. can see, they didn't score. But going into the next play, as you can see, I laid the boom on them again. As you can see, it's fourth down and I'm getting off of that field. So I dip and rip to that boom. quarterback and get a sack. As you can see, I made sure he felt that one. As you can see, it's third inches. They have a read option and I'm not letting that fly. So I lay him down and I mean, I gave as him you a can headache. See, I'm absolutely balling. But on second and 11, the quarterback rolls out of that pocket and I meet him at their exact angle and wrap and roll. Those gator rolls are paying as off. As you can see, it's now three to three and on second and inches I'm going to get that quarterback with bad intentions with and a I sack. get another sack in overtime and I'm not losing this game and I told the office go get the dub and they did but as you can see we go on to win the game and I end the game off with 11 total tackles going into our next game against five and five Boston College I mean I was coming down on that punt return and laid a good hit on this return as you can see that resorted in the game going to the next play on first and ten they had a read option and I stopped it at the point of attack for a tackle for loss of oh, two we're going up six to zero I'm being a special teams all American going down and making tackle and plays for my going team going to the next play I'm in a cover three zone and I break on this ball and I drop the interception and I was on first down I came back out and laid the boom on the quarterback and I made sure he felt me his toes and I went told numb. my teammate let's go Cause I'm coming on special teams. I'm the All-American. I go down there and lay a big hit to get that crowd going. To the next play, the quarterback thought he was escaping me, but I shoot straight. As you can see, him. we're up 23 to 14, and on first and 10, I went to go get him for a sack. I got up and I said, "Get up, get up." As you can see, get I said, up. "I own you." But on fourth down, it was 30 seconds to go, and they scored on us, but they still lost. And we're going to win, and I end the game off with seven total tackles. Going into the snow bowl against Duke, we started off intense. I mean, we were rallying that ball early. As you on. can see, coaches always said it's not only one head to that ball. As you you see Duke goes down and strike early with three points on the board. As you can see going into the next play on first and ten, they had a screen play and I read it like the back of my hand, but I nearly picked the ball off. I going just into the next it. play at second and seven, and I said I want to push him back, so I pushed him back all the way for eight In yards. In the very next play, I got another one. And I was absolutely fired I didn't up. have a so well game. I ended the game off of four total tackles. Going into the conference championship game, we got to come out here and win this game and take it back to Chapel Hill. As you can see, this offensive lineman was driving me As you out. can see, it's first and ten and I read these screens like a book and I was on it and I wrapped and rolled those gator rolls were paying off. I made sure to look at them when I got Going up. to the next play on third and six. We were rallying that ball. I mean, we all stuffed this running back and throwing back for a tackle for long. As you can see, not just one, not just one. I boom him with another sack. As you can see, he absolutely went for Going to the next play is first and ten and he run that ball up the middle and I laid that boom on him and I made sure that he felt me all game. But as you can see, they drive down and score on I'm us. I'm a special teams all America, so I'm gonna lay that boom on you and make you do a backflip all night. 38. Those inside zones was not working for Florida State all night. I mean, we stuffed it and stuffed it. As you can it. see, we are conference champions, and I get player of the game with eight total. 
tackle. Going into the national championship game, I mean, this is it right here. You see the win or go home with that ring. And I started off early on second down with a sack. You see, we was getting that momentum early they didn't on. Stop Iowa. They went down and scored to tie the Boom, ball game down. up. I made sure to keep my foot on that pedal and didn't let that quarterback get As anywhere. You can see, Jarrell Brock was a low, but I made sure to keep my foot on the pedal to bring him down. As you can see, Iowa kept striking. They went and kicked the field goal to take them up 17 to 14. But as you can see, going into the next play on second and five, they had a jet sweep and I read it from the back of my hand and laid the boom on them. Yes, I was fired As you up. can see, Iowa didn't let back. They striked again to take them up 20 to 14 and now it's As getting see, they get back down to that goal line, dump it off to the running back, but I laid that boom on them and he but felt they me. end us off in the old fashioned way and we worked this hard to get to this position and we lost and I mean, I mean with losses comes wins. So I mean, it's nothing but to get back to the lab and work on next year. But as you can see, drop a comment down below what you think his junior season will look like.